so hello everyone Jacksonville Florida here and going to the pool and the beach test out this awesome cool Nikon cool pics get some footage off that um, I really want to go into this pool want to like just leave it down there for a minute or two just see how it performs I'm excited because I've been using it and um, it's been giving me some great footage but um, so let's go test it out some more and then we can talk about software and uh, see how to connect uh, the snap bridge to the Nikon and what to use it you know like if you want to connect it to the computer or other things like your cell phone tablet all that other great jazz so stay tuned for more Look at that, freaking nice. Trying to get a little suntan, can barely see. But uh, I think I'm gonna go for a dip and actually test this baby underwater. Cause I wanna test it for more than just a couple seconds. I wanna test it for like five, 10 minutes. Let's see how it goes. I love this water, it's so good right now. It feels great. About to uh, start doing some underwater, uh, some underwater adventure. So, you know, I kinda wanna see this waterfall. Screw it, why not? Let's try it out. So Do the six feet underwater. So far, so good. Put it all the way down. <laughs> Okay.
uh, recording. Hey. Right. Let's do a little bit more sun. Okay, I think I'm going to test the beach now and see how it fares on the beach. I really want to give it a, a run for its money. <laughs> so, but anyways. Okay, we're testing the beach now. Okay, I think that's enough footage for today. I'm gonna start uh, going back inside. Or oh, I might just, what I might do instead, just enjoy the beach a little bit and then go back inside and we'll transfer the files over. So. So the great thing about this camera is that you can connect the camera straight to the computer and you can just start downloading everything all at once it's really neat because you don't really need a software per se um, I can just link up the cable to the computer or Mac and you can just access the files right away which is a great feature to have with the Coolpix interactions and uh, again make it easier instead of having to find the app trying to find you know somewhere to download this so you can just go directly plug it in send it off to the computer download them and then easy steps right there I think one of the great features about step bridge is that for example Android um, the pictures are easily accessible if you want to get videos it will take a good while so I recommend just trying to download only the pictures and then moving the files directly from personally for big files like 4k footage I would have this directly linked to your Mac or PC just because they're big files and to download them on the Android phone or uh, iPhones it would take a long time so I would just recommend having it connected to a PC or Mac that way you can just get the footage you know a lot faster and um, easy accessible to have them on your Mac or PC later on instead of having to use up all your space on the phone itself okay so here we have uh, my pictures um, we have several um, I want to uh, be able to download them from my uh, 
from actually the cool picks and find out their speeds if it takes a while if it's gonna have any type of uh, delay in trying to record these into the computer um, I know some people are pressed for time so we just want to see uh, let's test it out with one of the videos that I recorded earlier so here we have the one of the files from the actual it's downloaded from the cool pics we have the file here and this is just one video that it's copying from the cool pics directly to the PC I have everything in pretty much fast order but I mean again it looks like it's a little slow um, on my end I have everything you know good standing memory good RAM good you know CPU good everything it's pretty up to speed and up to date so um, so this is what we're seeing as we are downloading our just one video and this is in 4k So everyone, if you're deciding to uh, transfer these uh, 4K files, uh, maybe you might want to turn into 1080 and possibly get a better, uh, quicker download speed in order to, uh, to transfer your files or your uh, clips into a PC. For pictures, on the other hand, uh, we see here, I'm about to copy them paste them from Snapbridge to my PC. Um, you can see here that they start, it's a little bit faster than the clips, but um, again, I personally have them on my phone, which is like a big advantage. I don't need to put them on the PC, but I mean, it's good for backup just in case. Uh, again, I have no problems, you know, trying to transfer them from my cool picks to my PC and of course this is not wireless this is just straight from the cable connecting to the PC itself so here we have where we're trying to connect the Nikon to the tablet which is an iPad and we have here to the Bluetooth connect to a smart device you press that button you press OK to notify and then a screen or a name should pop up as far as the hold on a second a name with the title of the camera should pop up so you collect okay um, then it's gonna give you a little code to connect them uh, link up the two so right now they're both pairing up okay and then the authorization code is important so we hear they're both trying to connect to each other to try and pair up and right now I just don't want to give all my personal information so I'll sign up later uh, it's going to give you, you know, how to install to the tablet and what to do. And then for Wi-Fi for big, you know, files such as, you know, uh, footage and set of pictures. For the iPad, you allow the connections to megapixel as most, you know, uh, most files that you're going to get. Um, let's see here. 
So guys, just a little reminder, if you guys are trying to uh, use this on the iPad, um, I couldn't go through downloading the pictures until I was asked to sign in. So I had to come back, sign in on my Nikon ID, uh, which everybody would have to do um, in order to get these pictures. And then once you get the pictures, then you'll be able to uh, automatically get them synced via tablet and that's all i have for today so i mean as far as software goes pc we found out that connecting to the wire linked up to the computer it just to send one video 4k takes extreme along uh it, it takes a stream uh wait just to download one video or at least a uh, like a three minute clip tablet and android uh devices uh, if you're trying to download on pictures they're pretty quick uh, just two megabytes uh, resolution of course and the um, I was not able to get a Mac to do this little test but again um, the closest that I can get was an iPad so just to show you guys the uh, interactions the interface with the software how well Snapbridge works if you guys have any questions comments please let me know um, I'll gladly try to answer as best as I can in a timely manner. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Stay tuned for more. This is Lucy Vera. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.